Greetings and welcome back to Going Medieval. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, we are back with our colonists. First of all, they would love to thank everyone, uh, all the new members of the channel and all of the returning ones. Thank you so very much for supporting uh, our channel. And um, even though our settlers really have no idea what that is, I'm sure they'll appreciate it in a few hundred years. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all for your comments about stuff. Uh, we have a couple of problems. This is not a door. This is actually a window. Thank you for the uh, sharp-eyed folks who spotted that. We're going to have to delete that window. And one thing that I didn't realize is that there are two different modifiers for things. I thought decomposing was the same as rotting, but they're actually two different things. Now I've gotten a fair bit of advice from different people. Um, and some people say leave the floor as a natural thing uh, to encourage the floor to be cold because if you put a flooring, it has thermal insulation. So these guys are decomposing though, because of the ground type. So they don't like being on a cold floor evidently, which doesn't make any sense at all to me because if this is solid rock, leather should be fine on stone. But this is the game and we're gonna play the game the way it needs to be played, I guess. But we do have some very major issues here like that meat that we had rotted. So this pile of meat is rotting in 14 hours. So, um, the other thing is this smokehouse is kind of a really enormous structure. So I'm thinking we might put some outside. I forget if it needs to be actually cooked within the smokehouse or if it can just work on its own, but we need to make some smokehouses, like several, uh, it looks like, oh, we can make some out of limestone. So that would be really nice to do. Actually, let's go ahead and get a couple of these made. Uh, let's see. How many can we fit here? One, two, three. Maybe make a few more, maybe. One, two, a few more. Yes, good, good, good. Uh, because we need to get some meat for uh, for later land. Anyway, uh, we have a dumping stockpile here and we have one here. I really want to just clear this because it's very near the dining table and it's kind of, I'm sure it's unappetizing for them to be around that. So we'll just go ahead and put that over there. Uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, we will clear this smokehouse and we'll leave room for something else to be here. Uh, all right. So we have, uh, another thing is that we can prevent a lot of rot, um, by, uh, taking this stuff and putting it under a roof. So that's the next thing I want to do is we're just going to, let's see what kind of material we have here to work with. We do have some wood. And we have not much else. Oh, we have tons of limestone. Let's use limestone. Let's see, clay and limestone. Okay, I'm gonna make, ah, yes, we are going to make a kind of a covered, a covered thing here. Let's make a covered thing right here. Let's go here with this. Uh, okay, I guess I have to delete this trap. I'll delete this trap as well. But the idea here is to prevent this stuff from rotting. All we need to do is make a roof over it. So I kind of want to build, I'm not sure how far these things can be apart, but I'm going to try to just maybe like here ish. Sure. Let's do that. And that's how many, one, two, three, four, five, six in between. Three, six, okay. Seems fine. Good, good. All right. <clears throat> and I guess we can move that. Somebody suggested a really interesting idea of getting the pyre and then surrounding it with traps. And what I might do with that, though, is I might just... I don't know. I had this idea of making a little walled enclosure or something and putting it inside. And then they can get traps to get in there. Uh, in any case, let's see, we can, let's build another limestone wall here. We're going to extend this stockpile. Okay. Expand zone to there and then to like there. Sure. 
I want to make up for these squares. Let's see. Shrink zone by this amount. Yeah. I might move this pyre as well. I think that's... Well, we need to... Let's just go ahead and do the... The forever thing for now, and we'll move it. Well, can we? Can I destroy this thing? It doesn't have a destruction button. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Anyway, well, oh, we could put it up here. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's see this. Let's see. If we build a pyre up here, <sighs> leisure. I misc. I'm so glad it's under misc and not leisure activities. <laughs> I had this weird thought about that just now. Okay, let's put the pyre up here. And then I want to surround the entire section here with traps. Okay, stick traps. Okay, very good. And then maybe we'll just taunt them by putting a banner up here as well. Yeah, let's do that. That seems fun. Uh, oh, we don't have any cloth. Oh well, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so our peeps are moving all this stuff around. Oh, wow, we're destroying it, but it has it has people already burning. Hooray! Uh, okay, let's make this a door so that uh, the person sleeping there is going to be fairly comfortable for the night. There we go. Yes, we don't care which direction it's facing. Not really. It's fine. And... Yeah, we need to figure out how to do this meat thing, because this meat thing is going to be a pain in the socks. Otherwise, it might be that we should just, I don't know, make an artificial wall here. I'm not sure how this should work. Let's see. Because what we can do, I think we can put this leather outside if uh, if we have ground here, maybe let's see what's going on. Decomposing because of ground type and unroofed. All right. So if we make some decent ground here, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's see. Let's make a limestone floor. There we go. Hooray. And I just want to get this entire area floored. Oops. I kind of missed this bit. There we go. Okay. So that part is going to be floored. Now we're getting some good kind of organization going at least Let's see how are these doing they are growth halted because of low temperature that is not a good sign we may not survive this winter <laughs> we, may, we may completely die oh dear uh it's okay though we're trying our best we're trying we're trying mm. now this section here do, do we have a door here mm, no is that that's just looking really weird that there's a floor there okay i will put down a door here a wooden door there to get in there and maybe the thing is to just i don't know just try to build an underground cellar but the thing is is we should maybe have some Decent temperature now? I don't know. Let's see. Rots because of temperature. Decaying because of temperature. No. I promise it's not supposed to be that that hot cold. One thing I do wish is that it would tell me the temperature. I have no idea what temperature it is in here. As in, it doesn't say description info. It I don't see it. I don't see it here either on the left. Hmm. So I'm not sure. Okay, it'll be fine. We'll we'll figure it out. But do we have anybody mining right now? Because it doesn't look like anybody's come to mine. We have Jillian. Oh, Jillian's going to work there now. That's good. And Beatrix is writing. What is Beatrix writing? Hello? Beatrix is doing research. Why? Ah, oh, I misread this. Okay, I thought she had. I thought she was like Leet doing the constructing. In any case, we can get some stuff here. Let's see, what do we want to get? Maybe wooden weaponry. Or maybe something better like blacksmithing, which is 30. 
that will give us axes and maces. I wish we I knew if these required steel or if they could deal with just iron on those. Okay, so we have one, one thingy up. I do kind of feel like maybe Beatrix should not be doing this. Instead, do some like constructing. Somebody else should do constructing. Let's see. It looks like Leet is doing constructing. Maybe. Okay, now this stuff is getting done. That's good. Okay, and we're getting some flooring in here. That's really great. We're getting this blacksmith thing. Cancel this, please. All right, I want to go back and grab. Let's see. Not grab, but make a smelting furnace somewhere. Maybe here. I know it's a weird place, but in amongst the plants is okay because there's no proper ground there anyway. Okay, let's use, instead of clay, use something else like limestone. Let's make two of these just in case they can power themselves. All right, we do have now the walls and I want to put wooden beams here across so that we can make a long roof that will kind of cover this entire thing. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, we need to set these up for smoking. Produce forever. All of them being producing forever, please. Okay, good, good. Cooking is happening. Let's see, what do we have for food here? We have 89 meals. Stimulants. Oh, that's probably just the alcohol. Right, okay. All right, and because of the the wine, somebody suggested that I have a, an amount like 20 or 30 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that up to that amount because when they finish a batch, maybe some can ferment overnight. Yeah, this is looking a tiny bit rough. I feel like there might be some issues shortly uh, with survival. <laughs> Let's just be real about this, shall we? Let's let's kill all the animals. Hooray! I makes me a bit sad, but it's okay. We're we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Okay, so these two are up there. Would be nice if one of them got out of there. I wonder if I can assign a bed or if they Hmm. Unless they're just they just like friendly sleeping, you know? That could be too. Could be a thing. Okay. Okay, so whoever is cooking, we definitely need cooking to happen, folks. But there's no meat, so hopefully they're gonna go and hunt hunt down those rabbits that we saw. Alternatively, we can find more rabbits. Let's just go and scout the territory and see if there's anything else that we can find to eat. Ah, they have gone over here. Yes, okay. Fun, fun. I wonder if there's a deer about. Hopefully, maybe, maybe. Hello, deer. I guess we should go all the way up to the heights of the mountains where we are the music is a bit like i don't know sad sounding it's like the death knell of our colony no we'll try not to be negative we'll be fine we'll be really really fine okay pyre can be set production of forever that way we can get rid of these corpses that kind of bring down people's mood i wonder why um thatched roof let's get a thatched roof over here we have plenty of hay and that will get rid of some of our hay ah this is going to be perfect yep just a long roof like this let's see if we can go oh whoops it's show roof there we go like this kind of a thing like a big kind of a almost a shed but it's not a shed because sheds normally have sides on them kind of a just a uh 
It's a covered structure, shall we say. Okay, so these guys are going, maybe. Okay, they are looking for resources. I need to figure out how we can get some, some coldness in here. I'm wondering if I should just like carve a small niche into the cliff here and store some stuff. I am very tempted to do that. Let's see. Can I, can I do that? Let's see if I can just like maybe go. Let's see. How can I do this? If I go. Okay. This is going to be dirt. I think we actually need stone for one of those enclosures, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe here could go here, I guess. So if we go in here and just do like, uh, actually this is what, is that stone or dirt? That's limestone and clay. Okay. So that's fine. We can, let's see. What if we did something like this? Just made a very small thing initially. And let's get rid of this these activities here. Wow, it takes a while to do this. Okay, cancel this. And then I'm going to take this leather out of here. Just clear all. And then I'm going to have the leather go here because I feel like, ironically, this is a better space for it. Material. Let's put the leather here. Where is it? Salt. Oh, under textiles. That's right. Textiles can go there. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that's something. I hope that means we can work this. Anyway, we should get working on this little cellar. And I guess what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do a combination of things. As in... Uh, we might put mm, a couple of squares down of the stockpile zone and then leave a couple of squares open for the cooling part. I'm not sure. It's a really uh, strange thing to me, this whole thing, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and build a door here. Wooden door there. And I hope I can just put like a regular flooring on top of this. I'm not really sure how that works, but we're going to just try. Because I don't want this meat to go bad. Okay. Let's see if we can find... Oh, there is... Let's see if we can hunt down this, this wolf or coyote or whatever the heck it is. Can we hunt this? Hello? There we go. Yes? No? Yes. There we go. I don't know if they have coyotes. <laughs> that might be just kind of like a North American thing. I think wolves are more common in Europe. Um, there we go. Stuff is happening. This is good. Jillian is working her heart out. I'm going to go ahead and start putting down... Actually, I'll leave it for now. Oh, wow. Everybody's mining. Look at this. Everybody's in a mood for mining. Woohoo. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's see. I'm using control mouse wheel to change the elevation. And it is a bit faster, but I still would rather have um, like a positioning key. Like an F1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kind of like in some RTS games. I think that would be nice. I'm going to let um, let this construction wait for a minute because we have... I think it's really important that we get this food situation sorted. I don't know if we're going to survive this, to be perfectly honest. I'm just letting you know now, just in case we fail. <laughs> we're going to do our best, though. 
going to do our best. Okay, so let's see. They're bringing food inside. But what I'm going to do is just have them store the food in here and see how that works. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of a lot of things that it feels like we're going to need a big underground storage for this. But I'm glad that um our friend Jillian has some help. Gosh, almost all the colonists were working it last time. That was good. So I'm going to set up a zone real quick. We'll just do two squares and then we can increase it. So we're going to clear all and then allow food. Let's see, especially meals. Yeah, just meals, basically, I think. Then the rest can stay elsewhere. So hopefully they will be able to move that out. Okay. Settlers are idle? How are they idle? Do not be idle, people. We can extend this a bit, maybe? All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this stockpile and extend it there and there. I'm going to leave these three squares open. Then I am going to put a roof over this, as in a limestone floor. Oh, whoops. Okay. No, no, that wasn't it. That was not the thing. Okay, let's try that again. Try that again. Limestone floor over this whole thing. Did that work? Sort of, yes. Which is nice because they can use the limestone that they're digging up to be making this floor. So that's kind of good. Okay, very nice, very nice. And then I want to add one more there. But it's not adding for whatever reason. No, why? Help. There it goes. It's a bit messy, but it's okay. Okay. Um, and as we're doing things, I'm going to go down here and say that this uh, stockpile hello oh okay this stockpile i don't want to have any meals or anything in it we can have stimulants and raw and that's it and let's see how this works i guess they'll bring stuff over here so hopefully we're going to basically build an underground cellar and we'll see. We will see how this functions. All right. So what are these things saying to us? Meals edible. Value 999 stockpile. True. Okay. They are not dying. That is good. That is a good thing. Ooh, well then. Okay. I think we might have figured it out. So let's expand this zone a bit. Okay. Okay. Here we go. On stockpile true, stew points, okay. Hooray, we finally got it. <laughs> That's so bizarre. But it's okay, it's it's fine. It'll be fine. So I guess uh, we. I am going to leave some of these tiles open just because of the... Uh, well, actually, these don't have a floor, do they? The floor is natural limestone, so maybe that counts as good. I guess so. So that means we can definitely expand this zone just to fill the entire space instead. Aha. Okay, we did things. Stuff and things. It's great. Stuff and things are great. I'm going to go ahead and put down some more flooring here. And uh, just extend that this way. All right, looking pretty good. That's where our food's going to be. And I guess we need to make sure that it has 
stone walls rather than dirt walls. I'm being kind of careful about that to not dig into that part of it. This is okay. We need more resources for that and we don't have enough meat. Oh no, we need more animals. Hello animals. Aha, we have animals. Hooray. But for whatever reason, they are not catching these animals. Come on, folks. We need to hunt them down. Let's go. Who is on hunting duty? Let's see. Hunting is, yeah, two. That should be Jillian. And Jeffrey. You know what, Jeffrey? We're going to make you hunt as well. Because you've got a bow. All right. So hopefully they can get that hunting done. Because that's a bit... Let's see, go down. There we go. All right, and expand the stockpile. Jillian's animal handling skill. Handling as in handling to, to death? Is that what we're talking about here? Oh, geez. That's really rough. The other thing I can do now as well is basically put down a floor wherever we want to expand this thing into. So I might go here and here and then this way, maybe make it a bit wider and then we can dig the rest of this out underneath. So if we go down, we can uh, yeah, we can start to mine some of this. Like this. Okay, and go here, I think. Basically make this kind of a big cellar. Big one. And I think we're seeing our colonists participate more because it's so close to the, the base here. All right, so what is food looking like? Meals, 105. We have 80 smoked meat. We have almost no regular food. I don't think this is an ideal situation necessarily. Um, <laughs> this, yeah. It's only autumn, day 11. There are no crops happening. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is this is quite bad, I think. We're having a bad time now. I kind of wish I knew about the intricacies of this. Um, I didn't know about like I know it's said to say to to create a sh uh, cellar, but I always had put a floor in it and I wasn't sure if dirt would be okay or not or what. So now I guess we are finding out. But it's okay. We'll um, if these settlers uh, don't work out, we can always get new ones, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, let's just expand that, and it looks like our zone is looking pretty good, and our roof is covering everything that we need to. So that's great. Ah, we have some meat uh, at last. Hooray! The days are going on and uh, our people are like, hey, KOS, we need, we need food. Need food. If we get another settler, I think that we may need to turn them away. I really think that that may need to happen. Oopsies. Because at the moment, uh, why are they not hunting these animals? There are still many animals to to murder here, and we're not hunting them. There's many. Hey, peeps. How's it going? No more berries on the bushes. Yeah, I'm actually really worried. I think I think our colony is going to be doomed. But we'll see. We'll see how it how it pans out. Let's look at these items now. Yep. Yeah, now these are not decaying any longer. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. And then this thing. This thing is confusing. <laughs> this thing is not deteriorating either. 
it might be oh here it is there is an actually inside temperature now that i look look at that okay it's up up there huh so minus seven outside i guess it's cold enough inside that's the reason why this is uh yeah okay now i see it for some reason i don't know why i expected that to change up there rather than any of these spaces down there i don't know but just a ui thing i guess okay it's fine it's fine I'll leave them to their mining right now. Come on, folks. We really need to go and delete these animals. They're nice animals. But it's us or them today. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to tell them that they can eat the, uh, the smoked meat. So let's go into management here and we're going to do manage food. We're going to do just meals. Uh, oh, I guess I need to switch all of them. Can I shift click? No. Okay. That would be a nice thing to like have an all like change all of them to the same thing. Okay. No worries. It's fine. I feel like I'm watching the death of the colony and it's going very slowly. <laughs> it's going very, very, very slowly. It says settlers are idle, but I don't know why they aren't going and chasing down these wild animals for meat. Because they should. They are marked. They're marked for death. Yeah, see, it has the, the bone arrow. I don't, I don't get why. They're not hunting because they do have weapons. Let's see. Let's see. Jillian, let's look at what she's got. She's got a sturdy longbow. Okay, it works. Jeffrey also has stuff. Hmm. I have to say that I'm not like, not very impressed with this hunting business. I think they're being lazy. All right, I guess we can go down in our cellar and expand this zone. All right, so there's our food zone. Let's go. Settlers are suffering from cold. I think, I wonder if we need to build some kind of a heat source. Let's go and see in our research. Would that be making chemistry, apothecary bench? No, preserving food too. Cooking, more cooking. Tailoring. We could learn how to make them some winter clothes. That might be worth doing. Wow, we have 98 points. Dang. All right, cool. Uh, let's go with blacksmithing. And then axes is going to be... Oh, we need different research books, I think. So we need research too. So let's get that. Okay, so what did we get? We got tailoring and blacksmithing. Now, blacksmithing gives us the ability to make short sword and burdishes and mechanical components. We also get blacksmith's forges. Um, all right. And the only problem we have, well, we have several major, major problems today. Uh, <laughs> but we probably should build a, let's build a sewing station. And that can be like here build that here. Uh, we'll build it inside because it's slightly warmer. I wonder if there's uh, a heating thing. I mean, we do have a campfire in here. Oh, winter held Pontypridd in its icy grip. So the settlers gather around the fire on long, dark evenings. They needed to bundle up in warm clothing and heat their chambers to beat the chill. How? Okay, so high chance of snowfall and blizzards, chance of cold snaps, vegetation will not grow in low temperatures. So ensure that you sow and harvest as much as you can before winter starts. That's really useful right now as winter is starting. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> they should give us a warning ahead of time. I don't know. Um, we did have a lot of food rot in this playthrough, so it's okay that we... Games are about iterations, right? Yeah. I am looking for something. Is there, like, can we, can I make 
a thing? No, produces meal. This is not meals. This is... Yeah. And we don't have anything in their rooms. What about torches? Does this do anything? Okay, let's see. This gives thermal... Okay, this has a heat output. Value 12. Okay, there's a wall torch. Clay brazier. This is heat output 1800. Oh, okay. Guess what I'm making. I'm going to make one of these. Let's make one there. Let's make one up, up top. Here as well in the research station land. Uh, space already occupied. Probably. Oh, no, it's okay over there. Yeah, it's fine. Right, well, right below the wooden beam. It'll be fine. I'm also going to put some, I think I'll put the wooden torches, the wall torches in our bedrooms here. Okay, can only be placed on a wall or a ground voxel. Hello? Hello? Can't put it over the bed, apparently. Okay, it doesn't like me placing it on this wall element either. Hello? Oh, like that. I see. I see. Okay, so we can place it above the head of the bed. Sure. That seems completely safe. <laughs> Never mind about ashes dripping into the faces or, you know, sparks. None of that kind of thing. You, We wouldn't worry about that. Definitely not. No, no, no. So now why? Oh, there we go. This one. There we are. We're just going to make it look pretty is what we're going to do here. Okay, so we now, oh, oh, that's snow. Oh, oh, that is a really pretty effect. I like it. That's quite lovely. Hey, let's take a screenshot. This is kind of cool. I like it. Very nice. Okay, so people are happy. They are feeling very Scandinavian and e eating outside <laughs> in the cold, showing complete disregard for the weather or... Even better, they're enjoying it. Yes. Uh, all right, so it's been a while since we've been attacked. I'm kind of surprised that, um, yeah, that that hasn't been more of an issue. But at the moment, we need to kind of... Uh, someone was saying that people, the enemies only go down the ramps. So I guess if one were to place walls... And really cut off all the ramps. Uh, one could, uh, one could funnel the uh, the friendly people down the mountain. We could try and start doing that, I suppose. Do we have a ramp up to the top here? No. So I guess they can't come on the very highest part of this peak here. But what I'm thinking is we could do just like limestone walls. Can I, oh, I can't build there. That's naughty. All right. Sure. Okay, so if they come here, they have to go down there to go here. And we can do a wall here. There. And then here they could go that way. So that way we could kind of um, funnel them. It's a lot of walls though. And I think we need, we actually need ways to get up there. So I'm just gonna cancel all this for now. Cause we need to have uh, ramps on our side of the wall or stairs in order to get it up. So that's going to be a massive project. But on the other hand, it would be nice if we could build our abode on one of these cliffs. Somebody had that idea and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. So let's see. But instead we're building in the valley below where it's quite dangerous, very dangerous. All right. I guess there's no meat coming in. I'm kind of disappointed in this. I don't know if we can get through this. Let's see. We are winter day one. I don't know. Let's see. Days from start 36. 
Okay, so each day is 12, or each month, or season is 12 days each. Can we survive for 12 days on this meat that we have? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, either that, or I guess we can start eating people. I am wondering if that is an option. As in, like, let's turn off our, uh, our pyre for a moment. Let's pause that. Production paused. In case we need to actually eat people. Alright, let's look at our tailoring thing. And I want to make... What can we do? Oh, we can dismantle items for cloth. Oh, yes. Let us do... Let's do forever for now. Uh, because everything that they're dismantling, they're not needing to, to wear at the moment. See, sturdy wool winter clothes. Let's just forbid that. These are flimsy leather armor. Flimsy, flimsy. Flimsy leather winter clothes. That's not good. Flimsy iron mail armor. Let's forbid that. Okay, iron mail armor as well. We have more bones over here. Good shield. Let's see. The helmets, I think, are harder to replace. So, shield, let's also keep that. Flimsy winter clothes. Yeah, and the rest they can kind of dismantle at their leisure. That'll give us a little bit of stuff. We have wool cloth here. I haven't seen any sheep. I kind of wonder if they're in the game. Uh, or maybe they're in different areas or something. I don't know. Let's see, these are iron nuggets. Iron nuggets are good. Yeah, we still have not killed those rabbits yet. Oh, it's probably because there is no way to get up on that tier, is there? Aha! Aha! We have discovered something. Let's see, we can get up there. Let's go and build a staircase here. Let's build it out of limestone. There we go. Where else are these animals that we are failing to catch them? Okay, so there's one up there. Can we not get up there at all? Maybe not. Okay, so we can get... Ah, uh, we can get to this one, but I don't know if we can get up there. So let's build another staircase here. Okay. Settlers are starving. Why are they starving? Wait, let's pause this. Hello? Pause, pause, manage. Okay, meal, yes. Can I... Let's look at... Meal is... Food. Meal. Roasted meat. Oh, okay. Yeah, they can eat roasted meat. Someone suggested that the H is probably human content in there. Smoked meat. Okay, there we go. Let's have them eat smoked meat. Okay, good. So, let me just check that it worked. Food. Meal. Smoked meat. Yes. Okay, good. Jeez, I thought that uh, included it. So now they can go and grab some. They're running to, <laughs> to the storage. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> research available. All right, what do we got here? Let's do research. Oh, we did get research too. Oh, and I forgot to build a research bench. Okay. Let's build a research bench and let's figure out if these things are also, um, no, excuse me, chronicles. No, I don't want the sewing station. I want this thing. Give. Yeah, so these are not rotting right now. They're okay. Uh huh. Okay, we can delete probably one of these things. I think the mechanical components can probably go outside. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this stockpile. These guys can have the mechanical components. Because I think that if they are uh, under a roof, they're probably going to be okay. Okay, so that's that. And let's build our next research desk. Okay, so research table. There we go. 
that's different than the basic research table. Let's get this, okay. And it does look like we need some wood, so I'm gonna go and cut some. There we go. I'm gonna go and turn off the tops of trees and we're just going to kind of chop down some. There we go. Ferocious swarm. Relentless stream of war wolves poured into Pontyprith, teeth bared and eyes aglow. Whether their sudden visitation resulted from hunger or playful destruction was unclear. Brandishing tools and shielding the stock, the settlers had to drive them off. Okay. Whoa, there's several. Okay. Well, let's kill them all. Um, I think, though, that this might... This might warrant... Can I just shift... Oh, we can't do that. We have to click all of them. Okay. Let's take them all up here like immediately okay and then the wolves are down there oh no not there not there okay so now wait where are they oh they're over there okay let's see if they come closer or maybe maybe we should just take our people closer <laughs> are we going to kill ourselves i don't know might be better than death from starvation. I don't know. Let's take them here. Uh, maybe, maybe. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, are we... Okay, we are shooting at them. That's good. They're just, like, just in range. Just out of range. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're starting to kill things. This is good. This is good. Okay. All right. Okay, this is quite easy. Hey, we have food. This is great. This is really great. Okay, so let's un... The aggressive animals have been dealt with. So, let's see. They decay in four days. Let's see. It still looks like we have some hours of this day. So, I'm going to take three of them inside. Um, maybe. Maybe we can butcher three of them and get those smoking. Actually, I think I can take... Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure if I can take all the carcasses inside because it might be too warm inside now. Oh, no, it's still minus three. Okay, well, they're going to be in here. Oh, that's nice. So they're not rotting out in here. So that's good. I'll go ahead and unforbid these. So I guess... Oh, we still... Ah, that's why we still didn't build the... Uh thingy thingy yeah there it is the unfinished brazier okay so wolf carcasses are all inside this is good okay but i think it is time to finish this episode we're gonna stay on a cliffhanger here and see if we can survive this very bad winter we're only in day two we have a bit of smoked meat left and we just had a gift from the gods, the meat of wolves. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.